Let's look at a potential proof that 1 equals 2. Well, we know 1 doesn't equal 2, so maybe there's something wrong with the proof. Let's take a look. We'll begin by letting a equal b, where a and b are real numbers. So we know a equals b. Next step, let's go ahead and multiply both sides by a. So we'd have a times a equals b times a. Let's write a times a is a squared. Let's use the commutative property of multiplication and write b times a as a times b or ab. Remember, the order of multiplication does not affect the product. Now for our next step, we're going to add a squared to both sides of the equation. So we'd have a squared plus a squared equals ab plus a squared. Notice here on the left we have two like terms. 1a squared plus 1a squared would be 2a squared. So we have 2a squared equals. On the right we have ab plus a squared. We'll use the commutative property of addition now and change the order of this addition and write this as a squared plus ab. Next we're going to subtract 2ab on both sides of the equation. So we have 2a squared minus 2ab equals a squared plus ab minus 2ab. Notice on the right side of the equation we have two like terms. We have two ab terms. We have 1ab minus 2ab, which would be negative 1ab or minus ab. So we have 2a squared minus 2ab equals a squared minus ab. Now we're going to factor the left side and factor the right side. Notice the greatest common factor on the left is 2a. So we'll factor 2a from the left side, which will leave us with 2a times the quantity a minus b, which of course we could check with distribution if we wish. Equals on the right, the greatest common factor is a, so we have a times the quantity a minus b. Now for the next step, notice that both sides of the equation have a factor of a as well as a factor of a minus b. So for the next step, we'll divide both sides of the equation by a times the quantity a minus b. So we'd have 2a times the quantity a minus b divided by a times the quantity a minus b equals a times the quantity a minus b divided by a times the quantity a minus b. And notice when we simplify, this simplifies to 1, and this seems to simplify to 1 as well. On the right side, this simplifies to 1, and this also seems to simplify to 1. And therefore, we have what seems to be a proof that 2 equals 1, or if we want 1 equals 2. But again, we know that 1 doesn't equal 2, so where is the flaw or error in this proof? So by analyzing our steps here, can we figure out where there is a mistake or an error? Well, remember, a equals b, and therefore a minus b would be equal to 0. So looking at this step here, we really have 2a times 0 equals a times 0. So this step is still true. 2a times 0 is 0, and so is a times 0. But here when we divided both sides by a factor of a minus b, we divided by 0, and division by 0 is undefined, and therefore here is the flaw in the proof. Because division by 0 is undefined, we cannot divide by the quantity a minus b, and therefore this proof is invalid. 1 does not equal 2.